it would be certainly artificial intelligence. That is because artificial intelligence is likely to create the maximum market cap and business value for the enterprises going forward. Uh, the estimates are that by 2030, 15 trillion dollars worth of market cap value will be created because of artificial intelligence. Well, the mantra is actually related to AI and that is build your products and services for the market of one. Market of one means using extreme personalization and hyper-localization using AI for whatever product or service you are trying to sell. Well, my unique habit is every weekend try and go back to online courses in AI and deep learning and actually code with your hands. Uh, I believe that leaders of tomorrow in AI will have to learn newer frameworks every two years and if you don't do that, you will be outdated. So I'm always paranoid about updating my own skills and that is something that I rigorously do every weekend. So that balance automatically happens when in different meetings I wear different hats. When I'm meeting the CEOs of our group companies, I'm wearing the hat of business strategy and along with them come up with the roadmap in AI. When I'm with my team, I'm wearing the data scientist hat and I literally go through the code line by line if required and can roll up my sleeves and code whatever they have been coding upon uh, to change or improve. Thirdly, for execution, whenever I'm meeting the chief operating officers or the operating folks, I'm wearing that hat and I believe every data science head or every data science leader of tomorrow will have to wear all these three hats to effectively deliver the addition of business value or profitability or cost savings to his enterprise. Of course, uh, I agree with the statement. However, it's easier said than done. Uh, I feel the way the CEOs of tomorrow will have to use data science is to make it your AI first or AI enabled enterprise first strategy, which means the CEO's vision has to have AI words in it. Uh, no matter which business you are in, even if you are a textile manufacturer or an automobile manufacturer or the finance business or a business that is into online internet e-commerce, everywhere AI is required and the AI first or AI enabled enterprise first vision is what will sail you through, through this VUCA world. My leadership style has changed over the years because of the disruption that we are seeing in the market, including in talent. What I have realized is you are a different type of person every three years. You are, even if you are with the same organization, you actually have to reinvent your career every three years and reinvent your leadership style. So for example, as of now, to lead data science initiatives across large enterprises, what you need is someone who understands hardcore end-to-end -end machine learning interpretations and machine learning infrastructure as well as algorithms and the business benefits. Who knows, in next three years, uh, the machine learning would become automated and you just become a capital allocator equivalent, machine learning allocator on the strategies of the business. So then, you would have to change accordingly. So in most of our Mahindra Group companies, we are at a level where we are no longer at a POC. We have live rolled out AI and machine learning based initiatives. And the next year is going to be the year of scale. We like to call it POS, the proof of scale instead of proof of concept. And that is where most of our energies will be focused for the next year. Uh, well, interesting because I realize that this is perhaps the only place where most of the data science leaders from India, especially in Mumbai, are under one roof. Uh, I, I enjoyed interacting with them during the breaks as well as enjoyed the sessions. My personal session was also tailored towards adding real economic value using enterprise AI and got a lot of responses. It made me rethink my presentation as well with positive inputs. So uh, really helpful.